everyone, today I'm going to be sharing my August favorites. August has come and gone, and now we are into September, which I have to say because I don't know if you guys are like this, but September is my birthday month. I was born on September 25th, but the entire month of September is like my birthday month, so I'm in just in party birthday girl mode the entire month. So if you wanted to know, I will be 23 on September 25th. So whoop whoop to all of you September babies and you Libras, because I am a Libra and I'm definitely a Libra, guys. Let me just tell you about this. When I found out what Libras were, I was like, okay, yep, I'm a Libra. Anyways, let's get into what I have been loving for the past month. First, I'm going to start with this MAC palette. Guys, this is a blush palette. It is a double-sided MAC blush palette. You can also put other things in it, but it's great for blushes. So you can put all of your blushes over here, which you can see I have not filled everything up. And then there is this little clear divider that kind of keeps your blushes from mixing or if something was to break open they don't get everywhere and then you can put a whole nother palette over here which is totally amazing so I've been absolutely loving this I cannot wait to fill up the other side great for if you do any on set makeup or stuff like that or if you just want to keep everything in one handy thing amazing for traveling this is what I'm going to be taking when I go out to see my sister-in-law for um, wedding dress shopping because I can keep it all in here. I don't have to worry about it breaking. I don't have a bunch of singles everywhere, just a palette. So since I talked about the palette, let's talk about the blush I love inside. So I recently got some MAC blushes. Let me pull them out. Um, I wanted to go for more peachy ones kind of coming out of summer. Um, I just have been kind of getting more peachy pinks. The first one is Modern Mandarin. It is a beautiful, just like, perfect kind of mandarin-y, orangey, I don't really think that it has much pink to it, it's more of like an orangey coral, it is just a gorgeous shade for your cheeks, beautiful, beautiful glow, and one that is a little bit more matte and a little bit darker is this color here, and this is called Peaches, kind of a fan favorite for MAC, but I love, love, love this shade. Um, they're kind of close, but this one is a little bit more neutral, whereas this one is a little bit brighter and more corally orange color. Into palettes, I got a new palette, which is the Lorac Pro 2. I just love all Lorac shadows. I think they have beautiful pigmentation, super easy, buttery application. The shadows themselves are all absolutely amazing, and I love my Lorac 1, my Lorac Pro 2 cooler, beautiful, absolutely amazing. And I think that these shades really kind of complete the one and two. And I I think they're just so amazing. And then I have heard, I'm, I know I don't even need to talk about this, but I've heard that there is going, and I've seen, there's going to be a Lorac Pro Palette, another one, that is double the size. Cannot wait. I think it's coming out in November, I heard. So anyways, I've been loving this one for August. Kind of been doing more cooler eyes which isn't normal for me. Um, and along with that, I loved this one last month. I'm loving this one again this month. I've been doing a lot of rosy colors. My hair is blonde. It's fun to pull in those like rosy tones. And this three palette by Urban Decay, the naked one, is phenomenal. The only one that, like I said last time, that I've had a hard time with is Dust. This one has just been kind of a uh, for me. But the colors that I've been using this month have been Buzz, Trick, Nooner, and Liar. Love these four colors. So fun. And this palette is just a perfect little rosy palette for whoever wants to wear rosy colors. Because the Jenner girls have taken the makeup world by storm with those gorgeous, you know, nude lips. I think it's Kylie. I can't remember if it's Kylie or Kendall. It's one of them who have been wearing this lip. Um, I kind of have created my own by accident, just because I think I've been looking at the pictures and pulling into it. I actually have the Ulta brand lip liner in the color Flesh. Um, really gorgeous lip liner, extremely pigmented, and I feel like it just gives me that really gorgeous kind of deep, dusty nude shade. And then over the top, I have been using the Milani Bare Secret. This is more of a brown nude, which is really pretty different than some of my other kind of more creamy or pink nudes. This is just a gorgeous brown nude for you who want to pull a little bit more brown into your look. Another favorite because I've been loving to wear my peachy and mandarin blushes is this one by um, Gerard Cosmetics. This is the Coral Craze shade 
gorgeous, gorgeous coral color. Very different than their nude or some of their others. It just has that perfect kind of milky coral shade that is so pretty. And I know coming out of summer, I'm like, I just want to keep using you. But going into September, I'm so excited about dark shades. But this one has been so much fun over the past month. So I went to Sephora and actually scored on two roller balls. These are the actual perfume. Um, they're just in a smaller roller ball. I like it because I can put it in my purse. I can carry multiple ones. And guys, I honestly don't go through perfume like crazy. I don't use a ton. I use very light perfume when I wear it. And <clears throat> these roller balls, I think, was like $20 to $25, I believe. And I got the Marc Jacobs in the um, So Fresh. This is the pink shade. Beautiful, beautiful shade. Um, or beautiful scent, beautiful shade. I mean, I like pink, but... It's just very light and fresh and perfect for spring summer. I have just completely been obsessed with this one. And the other one is actually by Fresh. Now this I just happened to walk by in Sephora and I was like, hmm, that's really pretty. And so I tried it on. I tried all the different ones. And I ended up really liking this, I don't even know how to pronounce the first, Hesperides. You guys correct me. I know I'm butchering that and grapefruit you guys this perfume if you like sweet kind of grapefruity type smells this is just the most gorgeous citrus scent I have this is all I've been wearing guys my whole little stand over there with all my perfumes nah this is what I've been wearing actually I'm gonna put some of this on today before I forget because I love this one the fresh um, <clears throat> grapefruit and Marc Jacobs Daisy So Fresh. So getting on, so getting on to my randoms. Um, I have a few randoms, like I said, and this is going to be my number one. This is my MacBook Pro Air. Um, I'm sorry, MacBook Pro, and I have had my desktop. I had some complications with it, and I couldn't take stuff like on the go with me when I travel. If I'm you know, at the beach or something like that, which I don't tend to bring my laptop to the beach, but if it just so happens that I need to crank out a video or if I need to get a review up or do something, I can take this with me wherever I go. <clears throat> I got this really cute pink case at the, um, I actually bought mine at Best Buy. I got this cute pink case to go over and cover it to make sure that I don't get any dings or nicks or weird spills on top of it, which is really handy on a laptop because guys, let's face it, we take it everywhere. But just to show you, I got the 15 inch. It is so sleek, so nice. I have been on it and using it and loving it and it is my child. This is my baby, it goes everywhere I go. Let me grab my little case so I can show you too. I got a cover for it as well and it is this cheetah print. It's kind of on like a canvas type material and then it has this soft like velvety brown on the inside. And it's just one of those sliding cases to keep your computer safe while you're traveling or whatever, what have you. But I got this off Amazon and I can find it and link it down below if you guys want to check some of these little covers out. Um, I'm going to be using it for traveling whenever I'm in the car I use it, when I go and spend the night at people's houses I use it. So it's just a great little, again, case to keep your laptop safe because you guys don't want to break these things. They are hella expensive. So I'm just going to show you really fast. Another thing that I have been loving are my Alex stores from Ikea. Like I said, I'm going to be doing an apartment tour once we get everything done. But this is the tall Alex drawer. And I can put all of my stuff in it, which is so nice. My computer things, all kinds of stuff. Um, I think I have like, those are receipts. I have like a bunch of products that I need to use in here. I'm going to do reviews on. And then over here, I have two of the small ones. Don't mind my cord mess under there. That is like all of my lighting over there for my setup. But then I have two of the small looks Alex drawers, which are absolutely amazing. I'll just pull this open. I say absolutely amazing a lot. But they can keep all of my stuff in it, and I think they're so worth it. I'm finally on the Alex wagon, and I am so happy that I purchased those. So one last rando, you guys are kind of getting a sneak peek of stuff that's around my place, is this little carrier or case or I don't even know what to call it. Um, but I got this at Marshall's um, or like Marshall's CJ Maxx Home Goods store. Is that from the Home Goods store? It is this really cute glass little case that I keep all of my perfumes in. I think it is so pretty. It just looks so pretty sitting on my um, dresser. It keeps everything kind of squared away and makes it look very nice and classy. 
I am so obsessed with it and I can't wait to get more of these kind of mirrored glass pieces. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. So that kind of sums up my August favorites. I hope that you guys have enjoyed what I have been enjoying. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.